enemy has struck at the heart of our empire. A puny contingent of their soldiers has been captured here on Kilra. This incursion was an act of desperation. The hairless apes now fail about knowing that they are beaten. They have failed their race utterly. There will be no interrogation. Do what you will with them. Disintegration. Silence. My brethren, they are not warriors, but maggots. Worthy of being treated as a warrior, the one they call Angel. Still defiant, Dana If we were to offer coexistence with your kind, would you not accept it? The Kilorati do not coexist. No, and now that the tide has turned in this war, your defiance is a pathetic and useless gesture. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. <laughs> cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. Enough. You are not to blame for either. Some would disagree. This is Colonel Christopher Blair. Report to Admiral Talwin. The wreckage of the Concordia has been located on Vespas off the Mistral Coast. Evaluation. Total loss. You can't live your life for the approval of one man. Anywhere from Angel. None. Is that the official line? I know how much she means to you, Lenny. Is there something wrong with your hearing, Colonel? No, sir. It's just that I... The TCS Victory is a fine carrier with a long history of service to the Confederation. Yes, sir. A very long history, sir. Ship assignments aren't open to debate, Colonel. Of course, I realize that the accommodations may not be what you're quite used to. Well, sir, I didn't mean to suggest that... The Victory will benefit greatly from having a wing commander of your stature and experience. Thank you, sir. But can't we at least discuss the... Now that we have the Kilrathi on the run in both the Gardell and Morpheus systems, I can afford to shift you to the victory in Orsini. What 
I'm trying to tell you, Colonel, is that things are looking up. The Confederation has been making some very positive strides. Dismissed. Sir, about my request. Yes. But it came as a bit of a surprise to me. As you know, Colonel Devereaux's status is on a need-to-know basis. Your shuttle is waiting. Yes, sir. Despite recent losses in several densely populated sectors, Confederation spokespeople insist that humanity maintains the upper hand in its galactic struggle with the Karathi. However, our sources document a consistent underreporting of Karathi incursions, as well as civilian and industrial losses. There are even reports of Confed plans for a doomsday evacuation of Earth, replanting the seeds of humanity in a distant galaxy. The question is, who would go? Who would be left behind? And most importantly, who is making these decisions? Welcome to the TCS Victory, Colonel. Thank you, Captain. Better known as Tin Can Sally. It warms my heart to see you again, Colonel. But I must excuse myself now, as your duty here takes precedence over our catching up on old times. Thank you, Hobbs. We'll talk later. Yes, I know what you're thinking. She's no Concordia. Well, neither is the Concordia anymore. Yes. Terrible loss. My sympathies. However, you're in my home now, and I'll expect you to wipe your feet every time you come in. I've been with the Victory most of my career. I was communications officer during a maiden voyage. Well, sir, I'll admit, I wasn't looking forward to the assignment, but now that I see you have a pilot as fine as Roganar Hollis on your crew... Hollis? Oh. Yes. yes, he's my second in command. He's not flying? At his request. I know all about his exploits with you, Colonel. But here, no one will fly with a Karathi on his wing. What about his exemplary record? That must stand for something. It was his request. <sighs> Captain Eisen, I'm not going to tell you how to run your ship. But I am going to insist that Hobbs is reinstated to the flight roster immediately. Well, that's admirable, Colonel, but, uh, who... I will, sir. I'll fly with him. He's the best wingman I've ever had. Oh. Welcome aboard, old friend. You're looking fine and fit. <laughs> Does this war agree with you? <laughs> yeah, like a pair of busted wing flaps. But it's great to see you, buddy. Uh, and how is the fine pilot and comrade Angel? I don't have a clue. I haven't heard from her in a while. She's on some damn covert off for Tallwin. But hey, I got good news for you. I put you back on the fly roster. But I requested... Never mind that. I want you with me on my first mission. Well, there are many brave and noble pilots here. Yeah, but when my life's on the line... I want a wingman I can trust. I shall try not to disappoint you, old friend.
Lieutenant Rollins, calm exec, welcome aboard. You uh, get the pep talk from the captain yet? <laughs> Something like that. Well, the good news is it won't take too long to shower off the bullshit around here. But captain Eisen seems to believe in his ship and his crew. And that kind of attitude's good for morale. Yeah, well, you haven't been monitoring transmissions like I have. If you did, you'd jump sector in a nano. Are you saying Command's hiding something from us? Well, I can't say for sure, Colonel. But if you want the straight dope around here, you check in with Radio Rollins. Might even save your life. It must be a lot of work carrying all that paranoia around. <laughs> I suggest you stow it. Oh, you'll be asking for another dose of paranoia from Radio Rollins real soon. your week's pay on one hand. Thank you. No. Welcome aboard, sir. You want to play a hand? Now, since you're the rookie on this boat, I'll let you call the game. <sighs> Not much for protocol, are you? No. Formalities tend to be forgotten when you spend most of your time just trying to survive. What little spare time we do have, we fill up with other things besides practicing our salutes. Well, I guess you have to adapt to your surroundings. Don't I know that? It's an arch, really. No wonder they call you Vagabond. Been doing your homework, I see. <laughs> yeah, I've knocked around some. And yet your combat file is surprisingly brief. What's with the big gaps in your bio? Can I help it if Confed decides to blank my data? They must have had their reasons. They don't seem interested in sharing them, do they? Sometimes HQ is as big a mystery to me as the enemy. We got a lot of good people here, Colonel. Even those of us with incomplete bios. Just give us a chance. No, I don't have anything better to do, okay? So, I pulled into a tight loop. Locked onto that cat's tail, fired off a heat seeker, boom! Turned him into kitty litter. It was a. All right. Well, well. <laughs> if it isn't the Colonel. Uh huh. I'm sorry. I couldn't make your welcoming party. Well, I guess you had more pressing maneuvers to undertake, maniac. When duty calls, I'm there. Women like the smell of success. Uh huh. You know, I'm surprised you haven't been blown out of the sky by now, maniac. Uh, by friendly fire. Some people appreciate my flying style. I do what's necessary to win, okay? Suppose you're still flying with one eye on the regs manual? I don't take stupid risks. <laughs> yeah, speaking of stupid, I also heard you put Hobbs back on the flight roster. <laughs> my, my. Word travels fast on this time. <sighs> Never understood what you saw in that cat. Simple. I need a wingman I can count on. You can't trust someone who will kill their own kind. Who I choose as my wingman is my prerogative. It's a privilege of rank. I'll bet you stay up late nights just polishing it, huh? No, as a matter of fact, I have majors who do that for me. The difference in our rank is a formality. We both know who's better in the cockpit. Yeah. We do. Let me tell you that story again. So. Colonel Blair, report to the briefing room immediately. Colonel Blair, report to the briefing room immediately. <laughs> ah, come in, Colonel. Time to put that reputation of yours to the test. Confed intelligence tells us that the Karathi presence is growing here in the Osini system. You and your wingman are to fly routine patrol of these three zones, sweep the area of any hostiles you may encounter. Understood? Completely, sir.
Chief Tech Rachel Coriolis. Welcome to the Victory, Colonel. Heard you're flying with Hobbs on this one. Hey, you got a problem with that, Chief? No, sir, not at all. I think it's about time that cat's one hell of a pilot. Here she is, one Hellcat 5. She's prepped, primed, loaded, locked, and ready to kick some ass. Thanks. What about ordnance? It's all taken care of. The captain downloads the mission specs to me. I dope out the weapons requirements, so you're set to go. Uh, oh yeah? In the future, Colonel, you'll have the option of choosing your own weapons. Or you can trust my judgment and fly with my default loadout. I promise, Colonel, never to disappoint. TCF victory. <laughs> Excellent work, Colonel. I can see now that your reputation is well deserved. Keep clear for landing, Colonel. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Congratulations, old friend. Yeah, just like old times, huh? I must say, it certainly felt good to be back out there again. My gratitude for your trust in me is endless. Ah, forget it, Hobbs. You're back where you belong now. Oh, oh, good day, sir. At ease, Lieutenant. Carry on. Sorry, sir. It's Rockero from the Celeste system. You can tell a lot about a system from its music, you know? Some places it's all minor chords. Makes you just want to run out and do a suicide mission. But this is bright. Heats your blood, makes you want to live a long life. Now, are you a pilot, Lieutenant, or a musician? Oh, I'm a pilot, sir. A pretty good one, too. Check my kill scores. But my family, they made guitars for many generations. I've got one that's almost 200 years old. The sound just keeps getting richer. Someday, I'm gonna open a cantina, bring in the best to play that guitar. Place for old fighter jacks like you and me. Well, you better line up some other customers. Might not be many of us left. Oh, yeah. It'll be open to one and all. And me, I'll just sit back, gaze at the beautiful women, and listen to the music. Are you sure your heart's in this, Vigero? 
don't get me wrong. I like my job. But some of these guys, they actually like the killing. Me, I'll just walk away when this is all over. It's a nice dream, Piquero. Hang on to it. You bet, sir. And now one from our People File. Megastar Eddie Rickenharp, who single-handedly brought back mini mono as a popular music genre, has agreed to entertain Confederation forces amidst the ancient and exquisitely beautiful antiquities of Bistango X. This is Barbara Miles with a TNC Infoburst. Time we talk, Lieutenant. Ain't much to talk about, sir. You've flown with it, and you both got the job done. If you're referring to Hobbs... I can't fly with him, sir. If you stay on this ship, you'll have to sooner or later. Don't put me in a position of having to defend him. I won't do it. Why? Let's just say I'm hardwired that way. And nothing you do is gonna change that. Look, I'll try and keep you two separate on offensive assignments. I'm not asking for special favors. We need every good pilot we've got, and just so you know... I'd trust Hobbs with my life. That's your choice. Hello, mon ami. I hope the fight goes well for you and all the others on the Concordia. I'm about to set up for a covert operation with Admiral Tolwyn. So I'm afraid we might be apart a little longer. But always remember, just them. Um, I love you. Sir? They call you Flint, right? So you have looked at the flight roster? I've given it a glance. Then you know there are other pilots here aside from those you've flown with on other missions? Wingman assignments were still my prerogative last time I checked. Sir, I come from a long line of fighter pilots. My brother, my father, his father before him. I guess you could say it's in my blood. Your point being... I know your record. I would have at least expected you to take a look at the victories. We've racked up our share of kills. We're not scrubs out here. <laughs> Nobody said you were. I suppose you're afraid I'll peel off the first time we engage. What about the 20th time? Or the 30th? Will you fatigue even a split second or get a twitchy finger? The wingman I fly with? I need guarantees. Respectfully, sir, if you only fly when there are guarantees, you won't be flying much. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, I wouldn't presume to do your job for you, sir. I just work here. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. Confed civilian transport ship is moving through the Ossini area. She's going to need an escort, especially since Intel reports that Karathi are testing a new cloaked missile. Confed has codenamed these new weapons skippers because they apparently skip in and out of cloak every few seconds to maintain contact with the target. Now, you can see them one second, then they're gone the next. There are a lot of civilian lives at stake here, girl. I'll do my best, Captain. I'm sure you will. We got company. Break and attack. Here we go.
Report, Colonel. Initiating jump sequence. Mission objective is accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Good news, Colonel. As soon as you found, we're jumping to the Tomeo system, which is reported to be kitty free. And we got the cush job of assisting with the Excalibur test flights. Up a chair. Oh, I see. Let me know if I'm out of line here, but the word is there's a test pilot flying in on one of the new Excaliburs. Is that true? No, Commander, doesn't tell me everything. I hope it's true. I can't wait to get my hands dirty with one of those pups. <laughs> you really like your job, don't you? I just hope the test pilot's not some priest that won't let me touch his equipment. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. You really get to the point. Yeah, well, I never really cared much for gray areas. That's why I do what I do. Either an engine part works or it doesn't. Shane's don't lie. Not as much as people do, anyway. It should be a little hard on people. They gotta pass inspection, same as anything else. Of course, I got certain hours for that. And do we keep this schedule posted, Gina? <laughs> do you? <laughs> <laughs> Only for a select few, sir. Bridge Confed's expecting my tech debriefing. I caught some of the incoming radio, Major. How long have you carried that flash handle? Since my first day at Academy. I don't think you should ever apologize for sporting a little style. That baby's still classified, folks. You think you could keep your people at bay a while, Colonel? Christopher Blair. Ah, I read about you back when I was flying with training wheels. Is it true pilots don't get older, they just get better? The good ones. Maybe someday kids will read about you. I wish they wouldn't send me these Academy hotshots. Youth and wisdom are rarely combined, Captain. It's still your ship, Captain. He answers only to Admiral Talwin. Colonel, we're under attack. Launch all fighters. Red alert! Red alert! Launch all fighters! Launch all fighters! This is not a drill! This is not a drill! <laughs>
to accomplish. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Looks like Tomeo ain't as peaceful as HQ thought, huh? Big surprise. You're clear to land. Oh, by the way, supposedly we got the best fighter in the galaxy and all it did was collect dust on the flight deck? Flashman just set out that firefight in the barracks. up now, sir. Didn't you hear that scramble alarm? Yeah, it woke me up for a minute. We were under attack, for God's sakes! My talents won't be wasted on your little skirmishes. Yeah, well, people were dying out there, you son of a bitch. It's a war. People die all the time. You've never seen it, have you? Seen what? Never seen pilots, people you know, getting fried in their own cockpit. I do my part for Confed. I don't think I've ever met anyone as frightened as you. You think what you want. I've got my orders. Yeah. And you'll find refuge in that just as long as you can. They ought to shoot that kid, you ask me. At least strap him to one of my thrusters on the next mission. As usual, Maniac, your solution to the problem is brainless. Well, me, I, any chance I get, I'm up in the air. I mean, they're gonna have to pry my dead carcass out of the cockpit. Oh, stop banging your chest, you're gonna bruise it. The Colonel will deal with him. Oh, look, the Colonel is a spineless... I wouldn't finish that sentence if I were you, Major. Uh. We were just speculating on when the new pilot might pull his own weight. Uh-huh. Well, one way or another, we'll find out what Flash is made of. I guarantee you that. Does he pat you like that? That Excalibur is one hell of a ship. But just like I figured there's a real dick on the other end of the leash. Oh, what, he's not letting you do your job? These loving hands, I can tweak anything and make it run a little better. Of course, and a little grease never hurt. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't need me now, but there's gonna come a time when he's flying a paste and glue special and then see what kind of servicing he gets. I bet you'd like to take her out for a shakedown spin. You know, you, you swing by at the right time, you just might find the key in the ignition. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done any joyriding. Well, then you owe it to yourself. Come in, Colonel. We have to move quickly on this. The only reason we aren't on their attack right now is because the Karathi have bigger fish to fry. They've targeted to my O2. The transports are already moving in. Now, if you and your wing can cut through the fighter cover, we might have a shot of destroying those transports. Now, we're going to need a lot of firepower, and we're going to need it fast. Scramble everybody. I want those light decks empty. Right away, sir. You'll never guess what's gassed up and ready to go.
TCS victory. Now we know what that machine can really do. You clear to land, Colonel. Somebody had to step up to the plate, mister. You think Confed wants some old man risking their state-of-the-art test vehicles, huh? Listen, old-timer, I don't have to take this from you. Hey, what's your lame excuse this time? Get off my case, old man. You'd trade places with me in a second. <laughs> that is, if Confed had a senior citizen circuit for test pilots. <laughs> Where do you learn to spew all that crap? Doesn't the Academy teach kids to fly anymore? Listen, old-timer, I don't have to take this from you. I think it's time to teach you a lesson. Meet me at the simulator at 0900 and we'll see who knows how to fly. On one condition. If you lose, you put in for a transfer to combat pilot status. Aboard the victory. If that'll make you feel better. I'd ask you to shine my shoes if I win, but uh, I like my shoes too much. I guess you two are itching to go at each other. Yes, sir, I just got... As a rule, I'm not too big on these needless displays of macho crap. You're taking a big risk, morale-wise. And if you lose, you won't be too popular around here, so I'm gonna give you a word of advice, Colonel. Kick the little twerp's ass. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. I promise I'll make this as quick as possible. Prepare to die. Next thing you'll be flying is a wheelchair, Grandpa. I hate easy targets. <laughs> Guess we got ourselves another combat pilot, but it's a whole nother thing fighting the Karathi out there. I'd like to apologize for some of the things I said. Some? Well, I still think I could have beat you two out of three. Care to go at it again? Nah. From now on, I'll prove it to you out there. That is, if you figure I'm good enough to be your wingman. You're on the roster. You'll get your shot, same as everyone. Thank you.
I flew here once. A lot of places to hide in this system. This your first time? This is my home system. My father taught me everything he knew about flying here. He'd been planning to pass it all on to my brother, but Kilravi had other plans. I'm sorry. That's all right. Everyone's lost someone, right? They don't give you medals for it. You haven't been back since? <laughs> well, which one was home? Oh, that one. It was a beautiful world. Dark purple nights and burnt moons that chased each other across the sky. The insects would sing. Different serenades, depending on how close the moons were. My brother and I would stay up listening. Do you remember the time before the war? I don't let myself. Sir, I have scores to settle here. I can't be on the sidelines for these engagements. I need to be part of what goes down. Flint, when you fly, are you gonna be my wingman or your brother's wingman? system continues to be worth reading, I fail to see it. The natural resources are utterly depleted. It remains a source of slave labor, but the population has never been particularly malleable. Slaves we have no shortage of. The Kellans want this system, they shall have it. Nevertheless, my liege, I bristle at the thought of some, they will call it, now, what is that strange word they have? Surrender. <clears throat> no, it is not that. This system shall serve as a message to the apes. Since it is no longer of use to us, we shall render it useless to them as well. As always, my age, a wise choice. Colonel, you know the Kiorathi may be using bioweapons here. First time I've heard of it. The Kiorath has been preparing these kind of weapons for years. If they're not deployed here, they will be somewhere else. Would you mind telling me how it is you know so much about the Kiorathi? It doesn't matter if you believe me. Well, that's where you're wrong. It does matter. It's just that someday I'd like to get the rest of the story. You've been in these parts before, right? Word is the Kilrathi have let this system pretty dry over the years. Wakanda's well, always been hotly contested. A few months ago, I heard stories about some backwater system the Kilrathi had under siege for months. But after they cleaned it out, they didn't just move on. They dusted it with some new biological weapon. The whole system supposedly a total biohazard. Really ugly. No one can get near it. Rumor has it, Confed's quarantined that system. Nobody even talks about it. Nothing the cats do surprises me anymore. But if we do our job right, we're not gonna have to worry about that kind of thing. I used to raid these planets. Yeah, I know. It puzzles me, these reports that the Kelrathi are surrendering the system. Surrender. Though I know the word in your language, I still fail in truly grasping it. I cannot guess at all what my one-time comrades might do. And Kilrathi are most dangerous when they are unpredictable. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. We've still got more questions than answers on uh, Karathi operations here. 
Some of the karate forces are pulling out, other elements are closing in on the Condo 4. Intel thinks they've got warheads tipped with a new kind of bioweapon capable of spreading a epidemic over the whole planet within minutes. If Intel's correct, the half-life of this virus is over 500 years. Colonel, we can't let a single warhead slip through and strike the planet. If the warhead's bio, the civilians of Wakanda 4 will... Well, they'll die slow deaths from a ravaging disease, and all we'll be able to do is pull out of here as fast as we can. Good luck, son. is accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Sir, they're going to be naming babies after you on Lokanda 4. While you were out there, Intel did confirm that the Karathi warhead loadouts were biohazard in nature. You're clear. Oh, wait a minute, sir. Captain Ison's on the comm. Colonel, we've got a situation in the loadout reaches of Lokanda 4. Lieutenant Robin Peters has ignored our return to ship order. She's gone renegade. Appears to be pursuing her own private war. Can you risk bringing her back? I'm going after her, Captain. <laughs>
You might have died out there chasing after me. I might have. Well, I guess the captain ordered you. No. That was my call to make. Well, then I guess I should be impressed. I've never been very good at saying thank you. Hey, okay. you're welcome. I want you to understand. We don't fly suicide missions. We fight this war to live, not to die. You've got to fly with your head, Flint, not your heart. You've never done that, sir, fly with your heart. The day I do that, I expect a stiff dressing down, mister. That's an order. Sir, my father didn't read his children bedtime stories. He read to us from the regs manuals. I know there are certain actions necessary. If every pilot pursues a private war, the Kalrathi triumph. Until further notice, you're grounded. In this week's top infoburst, Confed forces have liberated the enslaved populations in the Cabrea system. But the Confederation has clamped down on all vid transmissions from the system, citing the interests of Confed security. Independent sources, however, report that conditions within the system are so horrific that the Confederation has concluded freedom of the press must take a back seat to the psychological harm any news releases may do. TNC believes that you, the viewer, have a right to know at all times. Therefore, we are currently taking action to combat this clear case of prior restraint. We'll keep you informed. A Blitzkrieg Kilrathi assault has taken the lives of thousands Still buying the of fantasy that we're winning the war? Well, why the hard on for the opposite take? Put on by the because you'd have to be blind not to see that things are going bad and getting worse? Excuse me. Fact, we haven't had shore leave in months. Fact, all we do is move from one defensive mission to another. Fact, our entire force is constantly in retreat. Now, is that just my imagination, or is the entire war effort unraveling before our eyes? Fact. We have a communications officer aboard with far too much time on his hands, dangerously spreading fear, uncertainty, and doubt throughout the ship. From now on, mister, you spout your theories to anyone. I'll have you reassigned to waste recycling. Forever? Forever isn't long enough. Huh? I don't know whether to thank you or curse you for winning us Flash on a permanent basis. <laughs> A little of both, I guess. I wish I had more pilots like you, Colonel. Might make the war end sooner. I'm especially glad that you haven't let the victory cramp your style in here. Thank you, sir. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. We've got a simple job ahead of us. We've got control of the sector base and jump point. The Karathi want that control. Let's keep them at bay, gentlemen. We can't give up ground here. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismiss. Breaking attack. Now watch this action.
Need clearance, TCS Victory. They're having a party in your honor down at the Black Main Base, Colonel. You're clear to land. Elsewhere on the war front, a Blitzkrieg Kirathi assault has taken the lives of thousands of Confederation service people as they were enjoying a concert put on by the megastar Rickenharp against the backdrop of the Stango Tent's priceless millennia-old art treasures. The surprise attack has reduced the beautiful ancient structures to rubble, and Rickenharp himself is said to be in critical condition. This is Barbara Miles with another TNC Infoburst. Thanks for watching. Colonel. Uh, can we chat off the record? Don't we usually? Yeah. It's one of the things that I like about you. And the fact that I like you is why I want to say this. Um, Go ahead. You've got a look in your eyes that I've seen before. I had this fellow see, and he went out one day and saw his women get fried. He started to blame himself, and no matter what I said or anybody else, it didn't matter. A few days after that, he took out a thunderbolt and just kept going. He uh, hit a jump point just as the Kirathi were coming through. There were a lot of fireworks. He might still be out there as far as I know. They never found him, not even a trace. And that look in your eyes is the same look that he had just before he went out on that mission. Do you want to talk about it? I had someone, too. I keep having these nightmares. I can't get them out of my head. Maybe she ditched her craft in some neutral territory. Maybe she found out a way to sidestep the war entirely. But I kept thinking, one way or another, right here. Only I haven't. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe my guy and your gal got together out there. At least they'd be alive. Yeah. But then I'd have to kill him when he came back. <laughs> Well, if it isn't lover boy himself. I saw you putting uh, moves on everybody's favorite little grease monkey. Jealous? Oh, I don't think getting into her pants requires any high-risk maneuvering. Oh, just the fact that it takes maneuvering leaves you breathing my engine exhaust, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I've dated all you girls. You made some nice moves on that last mission. Of course, one can only tell so much from aboard ship. Look, I know it's been hard on you sitting on the sidelines. You know, sometimes I hate myself because I actually feel lucky there is a war. I knew, I mean, I know someone who feels that way. She lives to fight the good fight. For me, it's the flying. I love the purity. Nothing holding me back. Only pilots know that feeling. Look, sir, what I've been trying to say is that I exist to do one thing, fly. I'm requesting reinstatement on the flight roster, sir. You know, you're right. What the hell took you so long? <laughs> Not all of us maneuver at warp speed, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, oh, Colonel. Oh, good call putting Flint back on the roster. We need every good pilot we can get. I think she's got her head back on straight, hmm? Well, let's get started. We've got a weapons convoy coming in. If we can get it through the blockade, the base will have a chance of defending itself. And we must protect this convoy at all costs. Got 
Time. I don't recall ever seeing that before. That smile on your face? It looks good. Oh, I can smell them, sir. Now that we're in their territory, all those Kiorathids waiting to die in my hands. Well, being on the offensive seems to have brought you out of that shell of yours. I didn't become a pilot just to babysit bases. You gotta be pumped on all the missions, Cobra. Not just the ones you like. Point well taken, sir. We're gonna kick some ass here. Thanks. Hello, Colonel. Good to see you. You're flying high today. Well, word is, things are looking up for the good guys. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, my father taught us about other campaigns, other wars. Weapons keep changing, but we can still learn from the past. Yeah. Take the Trojan Wars. That conflict also lasted generations. Well, that's the one that ended with the Trojan Horrors, right? According to legend, but the important thing is that it did end. <laughs> it's good to know conflicts like this don't last forever. It just seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. This is the kind of mission I take special pride in. We're going to play possum. Inside the nebula here. Karathi used it to screen convoys coming in and out of the system, and the longer we can stay undetected, the more damage we can do. Again, we can't let a single one of their ships escape, and I don't have to tell you the kinds of hazards you'll face trying to navigate in a nebula. Only the best flyers can make the necessary adjustments, Colonel. I have faith you'll be one of them. I won't disappoint, sir.
Need clearance, TCS Victory. <laughs> hey, nothing like the sweet smell of success, eh, Colonel? Hey, maybe this time should get a new name, like, uh, the Deceptor, or the Trickster. Maybe the Ambush. Yeah, that, I like the sound of that, the Ambush. Oh, you're clear to land, sir. The Ambush, what do you think? Come on, try your luck, sir. Uh, don't I get to cut the deck at least? You'd be surprised how many rookies just ante up and uh, look shocked when they lose their first pot. Well, they get what they deserve, then. I hear we're going after a garrison. I haven't been briefed. It may not seem like it, but my wheels are always turning. I fly better when I know what the real objectives are. HQ's got a bad habit of labeling every target a military installation, even when they ain't. I like to be real sure. In this war, everything's military. Not everything, sir. Hey, we're the good guys, remember? We don't go after innocents. It's the difference between us and them. Well, it's like the cards, see? A lot of people, they never ask questions about what's dealt. Let me guess, you're an RV, right? RV, sir? <laughs> Recon version, first time behind enemy lines. I think you always fight a little harder when you're on your own turf. Well, enemy lines are just squiggles drawn on a map, Picaro. They don't mean squad otherwise. Don't worry about it. Not now, partner. All you jacks want to recon work so bad, now you got it, which means us grunts gotta bust our asses for you. Colonel, part of the reason we're in Karathi space is because of your flying. You've done the victory proud. Now, as you may have heard on the grapevine, we're here to destroy this system's military garrison. We're going to have to fight through several waypoints. The enemy's spread out with patrols everywhere. Any ship that can escape to the jump point will be able to alert the rest of the Karathi to our presence here. And that would mean we'd have to scrap this entire offensive move. You need to kneel every last one of them, Colonel. Consider them nailed, sir. I love that boy, Spunk.
accomplished. Need clearance, TCF Victory. You wasted every last one of them, sir. That's what I like to see, cats pushing up daisies. You got clearance. Ah, they said join the Navy and see the universe. But I'd just as soon not buy the farm in Karathi territory. <sighs> Only you could read trouble into offensive recon assignment. Yeah, well, my decos from the comm traffic say we're just flailing away here. This ain't some great strategic stroke. This is Desperation City. It is good the missions we now fly. At last, we take the battle to the enemy. Well, a little rocking and rolling is good for the soul, I guess. Strange that despite the skill and courage demanded in flying, a part of the Karathi spirit is never entirely satisfied by interstellar combat. You like it up close and personal? Mm. We are taught how to use these claws even before we can speak or walk. But this seems savage to you, primitive. Killing is killing, hot-blooded or cold. You're one of the best pilots we've got, buddy. Don't start second-guessing what you do. Ah. No rest for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. Packing our bags, getting the hell out of here, Colonel. Intel has a hunch the Karathi are on to us. Get this old barge out of this nebula and to the jump point, okay? And let's try and keep a low profile. I hate long goodbyes. Go to it, Colonel.
TCS victory. That spook you like it does me, sir. I mean, if the Krathi can close up jump points whenever they want, I mean, I don't even want to think about it. We're just lucky navigation was on the ball. Nice job, Colonel. You cleared the land. Why didn't you warn us that your kind could close jump points? Lieutenant, I do not believe our shared enemy closed the jump point. Hey, I wasn't hallucinating when it went off my screen. Our esteemed captain has theorized that the enemy cloaked the jump point. The characteristics of the nebula undoubtedly made this possible and explains why the aerial system had been used for so long as a convoy passing. You know the aerial system like the back of your paw. And you claim you had no clue of what was waiting for us? No more than you, Lieutenant. You're a liar. Excuse me, Lieutenant. If you have any hard evidence, I'd like to hear it in private, all right? Yes, sir. You have doubts about my loyalty, old friend? Oh, come on, pal. Of course not. The Cobra's a good pilot. Hatred fuels that talent. That's something we can't afford to lose right now. According to pilots in numerous sectors, the Karathi have ceased the time-honored practice of taking ejected pilots prisoner by plucking them out of space's vacuum and tractoring them aboard support ships. Instead, they have been firing on the defenseless flyers, murdering them in cold blood. They can close the goddamn jump points? What's next? I, I mean, they got us between their paws. It's just a question of time now. I don't know. They can close the jump points. Theory has it they just cloaked one. To think. The only reason I'm here is because I lost a goddamn bet. See where shooting off your mouth gets you. Well, ain't we the lucky ones? Just jump from one nebula to another. Seems we've just signed on to the whole Galactic Nebula Tour package. Well, look on the bright side, maniac. Which is? It ain't any easier on the Kilrathi. They gotta navigate through it, too. I don't know. At least you'll be able to find something to hide behind. 
Sometimes I think they got eyes in the back of their head. Weird cat thing. Colonel Blair, report to the bridge on the double. What's going on? All our comm systems have been jammed. And guess who's behind it? Come on, Lieutenant. Don't tell me you can't do anything. I'm trying, sir, but it looks like some kind of video virus, or should I say worm. Ah, this looks like a major debug. I have read your Terran Bible with its predictions that there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It is about to be fulfilled. We will tear your tongues out. We'll scoop out your brains. That ain't all they'll do if they ever get their paws on us. You will be prime examples to the other races in the galaxy. And clownish baboons for our amusement. For baboons, we sure have been getting our shots in, Senor Gato. Your race will suffer a thousand torments and more. Do not be emboldened by the presence of the heart of the tiger among you. Colonel Blair will be reduced to a pile of entrails. I will see to it personally that you pay for every noble Kilrathi who has died at your hands in combat. I leave you and your miserable comrades to contemplate your ignoble futures. <laughs> I didn't know you and he had a history. Yeah, Thrakath and I've gone a few rounds. Seems to have a special nickname for you. It's news to me, Captain. An honor I could do without. You ask me, the cats are running a little scared. Uh, perhaps our incursion into Ariel has something to do with that. Hobbs! Kerasi <laughs> believe always that war is psychological. It is a contest of wills as much as women. Talking trash is all I call it. It is the politics of superiority. Or perhaps one of my race's more admirable social constructs. Social construct. A pack of animals with admirable social constructs. I want every comm station up and running in an hour. See you in a briefing room. Yes, sir. Ah, Colonel, I hope you're not putting much stock in all that hot air the Thrak Calf decided to blow our way. No, sir. Good. Headquarters pretty sure the Karathi have a special device in Ariel that enabled them to use nebula gases to throw a curtain over that jump point. Now, Confed thinks Ariel is the only system where they have this capability, since that's where they carried on so much of their convoy traffic. Well, that's good news. I don't feel like running into many more closed doors. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously the Prince's transmission was a good indication they're coming after us hot and heavy. So, we're going to split from our escorts once we enter this nebula, and you're going to protect these two destroyers. Navigation has located a new jump point inside the nebula, which we can use for our retreat once we've taken out enough of our pursuers. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. Enemy sighted, Colonel. Breaking attack. Going out.
Need clearance, TCS Victory. And that'll teach the Rack Half to crash bid us. You're clear to land, Colonel. You know, my father holds very definite ideas about flying under these conditions. He feels you can always find a way to fling the obstacles back in the enemy's face. I got a hollow mail trans from him after Rollins got communications back up. What's your father flying these days? Oh, only a desk, unfortunately. Hmm. I'll bet he wishes he was behind the stick. Oh, you better believe it. It's like an addiction, isn't it? I mean, once you get hooked... You know, I'd like to meet him someday. It's guys like him who really wrote the book on how to fight this war. Yeah, well, he'd like to meet you. I told him I was flying with you, and he was very impressed. Really? Thanks. You have news, Prince Thrakla? Of Kilrath in glory, Your Excellency. Terrans attempted an incursion into the aerial system, but they were like insects which we swatted away. They are a vague annoyance, unworthy of your attention. I can have no rest until the Terrans are completely vanquished. Their resistance gnaws at me, and no Emperor of the Kilrathi should have such darkness set upon his brow in the last days of his rule. Oh, but your Excellency's universal reign is merely in its youth. Soon, the Emperor will have the privilege of doing what he wishes with the Terran Confederation. You have my solemn vow in that. I am heartily pleased. A new page is about to be turned. A message is about to be sent to the Terrans. It is one we have discussed before. Yes. And now is the time. and a privilege having you aboard, Admiral. Pleasure, Captain. Thank you. Sure. Ah, well, they look like a good bunch. Well, the legendary Colonel. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Admiral. But there are no legends aboard this ship, just pilots trying to get the job done. Well, I'm not sure such modesty becomes you, Colonel. Let's see if we can add to the legend. Hmm? Ah. I've brought my own cook on board, so let's see if we can get some decent food. Oh, it must seem like old home week to you. First the Kilrathi Prince, and now Admiral Tolwyn. Who'll be next? Sorry. I know who you're thinking about. Do you? You must be a mind reader. No, I just know more about your history than you might be aware of. She's a colonel in covert ops, right? How did you become such a student of history? That was my weapon growing up. Being the girl, I had to have something to get an edge. And one thing I know about my history is that you and the Admiral have crossed paths more than a few times. <laughs> Bumped heads is more like it. And he knows history, too. Plus every rule and regulation. Yeah, he just doesn't know the human heart. 
His job is the same as yours or mine, winning the war. I can't do anything about how he chooses to go about it. Yeah, well, even if you don't agree with him? Hey, I rarely agree with him, but he is an admiral. <laughs> Welcome, Colonel. As you may or may not know, we are currently en route to the Torgo system, where we will rendezvous with destiny. Gentlemen, I give you the Confederation's finest achievement, the behemoth. After a decade of secret research and development, our greatest minds have created the device that will spell doom for the Kilrathi. Behemoth is a series of linked superconducting energy amplification conduits focusing an output of 500 million gigawatts into one lancing point. Any target at the end of that point is destroyed. Even a planet? Yes, Captain. Even a planet. He would have liked another year or two for testing and development, but unfortunately circumstances have forced me to deploy the weapon now. And might I ask why? Admiral. Well, you should know the answer to that more than anyone else, Colonel. The classified and bitter truth is that Confed has been losing the war this past year. If the current trend continues, the Kilrathi will be walking on the Earth in six months, maybe less. So, the behemoth must be pressed into service earlier than anticipated. Because of this accelerated deployment, the ship's defensive systems are, well, how can I put this, uh, somewhat incomplete. There are a few uh, soft spots located here and here. Where the shields are thin, there's been no time to complete keel mounts or laser turrets. I expect you to be especially aware of these areas, Colonel. It'll be your job to protect and defend this ship. This should be looked upon as the Confederation's last ditch effort to win the war outright. Yes? Yes, thank you. I understand. Thank you. Well, the download is complete. We have arrived at Torgo, gentlemen, where I had hoped for a nice smooth rendezvous with the Behemoth. But as is their wont, the Kilrathi have spoiled the party. Colonel? This is undoubtedly the most important mission you've ever flown in your life. You must defend the behemoth at all costs. I want a magnum launch. All fighters up. Are we clear? Yes, sir.
clearance, TCS Victory. Colonel, just confirmed my belief that you and the Victory were the correct choices for this undertaking. The behemoth requires some light maintenance prior to moving out, so we won't be leaving the system just yet. Grandma, what a big gun you have. <laughs> they don't get any bigger. That's what they all say. Talk is cheap. Maybe you haven't noticed, but the shields on this thing are really thin. I guess it sucks up so much juice that the usual standard equipment gets shortchanged. That's probably in the specs for next year's model. Yeah, and Christmas tree lights, too. I suppose this wouldn't interest you. Coded transmissions? Yeah, about a million of them. And they're weird, too. Not the usual codings. I can't even begin to break them. Lieutenant, we have an admiral on board. Now, his transmissions are supposed to be coded. Colonel, I've been around high rankers before. This is definitely different. <sighs> Damn Tolwin. He's always got something up his sleeve. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Sir, I know there are times when you think I'm a little crazy, but I do know my job. Well, keep me posted. Yes, sir. Ah, our local hero. Well, I must say that so far I'm very impressed you haven't lost your touch. May we uh, speak privately, Admiral? Get it off your chest, Colonel. Sir, it's a little unclear to me precisely what your status is aboard this ship. Look, I took the helm of the Behemoth Project ten years ago. And there's no intention to usurp command? <laughs> I'd be a little more careful regarding my choice of words, Colonel. Admirals, by definition, do not usurp. I thought at long last we'd achieved a measure of respect for each other. Obviously, I was wrong. You may realize by now that your assignment here was a little more than merely fortuitous. We're headed to kill Ra with that thing, aren't we? Well, what would you aim for if you had the biggest gun in the universe? <laughs> Revolution in the Granita system tops our infoburst. Ad hoc government officials in that system are preparing to withdraw from the Confederation and offer negotiated terms to the Kilrathi. Coexistence, not conflict, is the new Grenitan policy, according to a spokesperson. Confederation officials are now meeting with the Grenitans to dissuade them of this new approach, arguing that there is no evidence that the Kilrathi have ever honored a negotiated peace. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say a thing. Heard you got chewed out by the Admiral himself. Yeah, well, I guess I should wear that as a badge of honor. According to the Admiral, sloppy dress means sloppy work. Well, excuse me for not heading to the cleaners every time I swap out a part. Well, he sticks real close to the regs. Yeah, well, after this war is over, I'm gonna make it my mission to loosen the screws on every moving part belonging to guys like him. Yeah, well, save a screwdriver for me, will you? There's been a change of command, Colonel. No disrespect intended, sir, but why am I not surprised? Well, as we move closer to the deployment of the behemoth, I've decided to assume command personally. I hold the fate of the Confederation in my hands. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? We are about to enter the Loki system where we will test the behemoth on Loki 6, home to a small Kilrathi military base. Loki 6 is a unique planet in that it orbits a quasar. As you know, the quasar blocks out all stellar communications. So the base will be unable to call for help. But by the time the Kilrathi sent out a ship to investigate, we shall be pulling up just outside downtown Kilrath. But before we can 
test fire the behemoth. A little house cleaning is in order. On this mission, I'd like you to sweep out Loki Six's surrounding environs. Don't leave any strays out there. We don't need anyone bothering us when we line up the weapon for its first test. Got it. Understood, Admiral. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Looks like smooth sailing for the Big B. Colonel, you're cleared to land. Colonel, you shouldn't be this far away from the fray. <sighs> War is everywhere, Captain. No escaping it. I'm not a captain anymore. First time I've been like that since... I don't think I was even shaving when I first took the helm. What am I without a ship, Colonel? Captain. They can promote us, demote us, bounce us all over the galaxy. There's only one thing that matters. The first time you shaved, you could look yourself in the mirror. You can still do that now. I speak frankly, Admiral. Well, I've never known you to do otherwise. With all due respect, sir, I don't think your assumption of command has done ship morale much good. I'm not really interested in public opinion polls on my tactical decisions. And as I recall, you weren't particularly enthused about your own transfer to this vessel when it happened. That was before I was acquainted with its crew, sir. Ah, yes. A fine quality, your transfer of loyalties. Project Behemoth needs a guardian angel. 
I've been with it since its inception. The choice was clear-cut and indisputable. We all have just one superior, Colonel. The progress of the war. Yes, sir. Looks like Tolwyn's about to steamroll her another career. I told the captain to look out, but would he listen? <laughs> Maniac, when have you known someone to actually take your advice? I just told him I speak from experience. You poisoned Tolwyn against me from the start. He's had it out for me ever since. I've got news for you. Tolwyn had nothing to do with your lack of promotion. Your flying style took care of that for you. Tolwyn doesn't even know you're alive. Oh, that's what you think. Everybody knows about the Maniac. Everybody. How many people here know about the Maniac? Oh, what, nobody? Sir. You seem awfully keyed up. I'd ease back on the throttle a little if I were you. We're a long way from Kilra. Not a moment too soon, I can tell you that. No, I don't think I've seen anyone as anxious to waste the enemy as you. Oh, I'd blast planet after planet if it would read the galaxy of Kiorathi. There's no justification for their existence. And that includes your buddy, Hobbs. Jesus, Lieutenant, it's like an endless loop with you. You have no clue. So enlighten me. They took me when I was ten. Who, the Kiorathi? Slave labor camp. I escaped when I was 20. Must have been... You have no idea what it must have been. I saw things. The psych guy spent two years trying to pry things out of my head after I escaped. But you can't wipe it all. There's a little bit of Kilrathe prowling around inside of me and I can't get it out. One day there won't be any human left. We're gonna get him. You'll see. Keep telling me that, Colonel. Even if it's not true. Well, this is a simple one, Colonel. Cover me while I fire the behemoth. Sounds simple enough, Admiral. since I have been this near to Kira. I'd understand if you had mixed feelings about the behemoth and what it's about to do. It has been a long war that has turned all of us inside out. There will be Kilrathi that survive, and when the war is over, they'll understand what you did. No one ever will truly understand what I did. But your loyalty has meant much to me. My friend. This is it, Colonel. I've been waiting ten years for this glorious moment. We're about to hit the jump point. From there, it's straight to Kilra. Protect the behemoth at all costs. The future of the Confederation depends on it. Company. 
Break and attack. Here we go. We also had access to Thoracic's transmission regarding Colonel Devereaux. My condolences, sir. I'm sure glad you didn't let him suck you into that lose-lose dogfight. We're jumping out the second you land. Turning command of the victory to you, Captain. Yes, sir. They knew where we were going and when. They knew exactly where to strike. I have every reason to suspect you have a leaky ship, Captain. Respectfully, sir. I resent such innuendos concerning my crew's loyalty. Battles are won or lost. There are never any guarantees. And at the time, she was your ship, sir. Fight well, Captain. The struggle will only get harder. You could use some anesthetic. 
You know, it's kind of spooky the way the Kilrathi zeroed in on that soft spot. I guess uh, the Rye Cap zoomed in on yours, too. I feel for you, Colonel. Do you want some company? No. I'll be okay. Way you face your problems look i don't need this you have to fly with your head not with your heart those words ring a bell <sighs> you take good notes lieutenant think we could avoid a scramble long enough for me to get a cup of coffee the kilrathi don't usually upload their schedule in advance look i'm sorry about angel everyone on board is we know she was someone quite special She was. And here's one for the personnel file. Admiral Jeffrey Tolwyn of Confederation High Command has taken a leave of absence for what's reported to be personal reasons. Our sources speculate that the Admiral has of late been suffering undue stress and depression due to recent downturns in the war effort. This is Barbara Miles signing off for TNC. The ship's sensors could track movement in every compartment, right? Well, yeah. I guess, yeah, supposedly, I guess that's possible. Um, I'd have to do some fancy bite surgery. Then do it. Make that paranoia of yours pay off for once. That would be a change for the lieutenant. You want to fill me in? Yeah, uh, those crazy coded transmissions are still being sent, sir. Cobra here, she thinks hot. I know what Cobra thinks. Sir, they were waiting for the behemoth. They know what we're gonna do even before we do. And I can't believe you're still sympathetic towards a Kirate, not after... Look, I'll admit it. It seems like we've been having more than just a little bad luck lately. Now, I want you to keep working on those decodes. Yes, sir. And Hobbs, sir? Right now, I'd say none of us is above suspicion. I've been there. I'm tired of flying a desk. I hear you had a little run-in with uh, Thrakath. Yes, I did. You son of a bitch. It pains me that you had to find out that way. How long have you known? Oh. Since the Concordia went down. Go on, Larry. Take your best shot. Come on. 
Well, you haven't lost your touch. Oh, Vespus. He stood there and lied to me. I was under orders, laddie. All those missions we flew together, you and my wing protecting me. I was protecting you by not telling you. You just see what your Nelly did when you found out? I was protecting you from yourself. You know how much she meant to me. I do. But this is war, laddie. All of us have lost someone dear to us. That does not make you special. Yeah. I've heard that before. Besides, Angel may yet help us win this thing. She sent one final transmission before she was taken prisoner on Kilra. I think you may be interested to hear it. I'll wait for you in the briefing room. Got a lot to cover. The Behemoth was not the only rabbit in uh, Confed's hat. We in Covert had our own long shot project. It became much more of a reality once Angel got to kill Ra. Angel carried with her an impressive scientific package. Part of it she placed in orbit around the Kilrahi homeworld, other parts were seeded at ground level. All are cloaked and send their low-level signals to a commsat parked just outside the Kilra system, which feeds the data to us. Angel may be gone, but our work continues, laddie. Now, it turns out that the Kilra homeworld is a pretty fragile place, layered with active fault lines. Its tectonic plates keep shuffling themselves like a deck of cards. Now, it's my guess but the heavy seismic activity is what propelled the Kilrahi into becoming such an aggressive spacefaring race. So Kilrath has an Achilles heel. Now over the last decade, work has proceeded on a tectonic frequency weapon, the Tembla bomb. The theory goes that if we can fire this thing with absolute precision, its detonation could achieve the proper resonant frequency and trigger a tectonic reaction that would literally shake their planet apart. But even if we could destroy their home world, they got an entire army deployed. Their entire culture is based on a strict, centralized hierarchy. All roads lead to Kilra. Every Kilrahi lives and dies for the Emperor. Destroy that hierarchy, and you destroy them. So, what are we waiting for? Ah, uh, well, we have one problem. There's no bomb. A year ago, Dr. Severin, the man in charge of this project, was captured by the Kilrahi. We tried putting the pieces together without him, but ended up with a zip. And now we have to go and get him. Well, it beats waiting for the Kilrahi to parole him. What? We gotta go after this guy on a prison planet? The only chance we've got at finishing up the T-bone. Let's get down to the mission specifics. The prison planet is Alcor 5. We'll enter the system through the back door under normal drive. Colonel, I want you to scout ahead, clear the asteroid field, and make sure we are not detected. You got it, laddie? Yes, sir. Break an attack. Going up.
Need clearance, TCS Victory. <laughs> Looks like you swept out a nice path for us, sir. You're cleared to land. <laughs> Stock markets across the Confederation took a nosedive with reports that an incursion deep into Karathi territory resulted in heavy losses, including classified offensive weaponry that had been years in development. Unconfirmed reports had suggested development of a new secret weapon that could end the war. But other sources are now extremely pessimistic about concluding this seemingly endless conflict. The grapevine's really been humming. Everyone knows we're getting back to Severin. Or Dr. Death, as he's known to some of his old friends. You know? Yeah. We go back, Sevi and I. Now, you asked me the Kilrathi did the right thing locking him up. Why do I get the feeling this has to do with your classified past? Look, you know I haven't always been a pilot. You ever hear about Pac-7? Yeah. A lot of people got killed. Uh, it's an accident of some sort. Millions got killed. And it was no accident. Just one of old Doc Sevy's demolitions tests. I was working for him back then. I'm certain he knew exactly what was going to happen, but he saw no reason to warn the civilians. Afterwards, Confed tried to cover it up. <laughs> but who really cared anyway? The Paxons were just the backwards people who had nothing to offer the war effort. That's when I quit demolitions. In the cockpit, I can see the enemy. They line right up in my gun sights, and I can... The pilots I shoot down sure ain't civilians. But if there's a hell to go to, I know they've got a special place reserved for me. And Sevi. That's an awful lot of baggage to be carrying around. Maybe you should sit these missions out. No way, Colonel. I want to be right there when we get this guy. Maybe there's a little redemption possible. If we get this guy, and he helps us win the war. Talk about ironies. Flight deck, emergency. We have trouble on the flight deck. Colonel. Hobbs. Oh, he was trying to send this. Over the last decade, work has proceeded on a tectonic frequency weapon, the Tembler bomb. The theory goes that if we can fire this thing with absolute precision, its detonation will achieve the proper resonant frequency. All this time, he's had us bugged. We have to get it to the infirmary. No, get Hobbs. You still have time. That's a negative, Colonel. We're almost to Alcor 5. Any pursuit now will jeopardize the entire operation.
marshal you for disobeying my orders, Colonel. You can't imagine how dearly your impulses have cost us. We came under attack during your little joyride. Report to me in the barracks, ASAP. Do you have any idea how much I hate this little ritual? Now I have to compose a letter to the Carol's parents. It's supposed to make them feel proud of their son. I have written too many DEFCOMs. I suppose they'll want this. Damn it, man, you put your own needs above that of the ships. You can't ever do that. All right, the death con. What happened with Hobbs, Captain? When you have an answer to that, Colonel, you let me know. In any event, we have to move quickly now, because there's no telling how much the Karathi already know. We are here to bid farewell to Lieutenant Laurel Buckley. I didn't know Cobra well. Doubt that any of us did. But I do know that she was haunted by aspects of this war that were darker than anything most of us can imagine. She is finally free of that pain. And I only wish she could know how much she'll be missed as she takes her last flight. At no time does this war seem more cruel than when it ends the life of someone as young as Lieutenant Mitchell Lopez, a man young enough to still have dreams. The Carol was a pilot who at all times flew with heart and pride. He had a lust for life and for flying. The victory will be a sadder place without him. High tech, the old adage goes, is never cheap or easy. Well, Confed Technoids have again pushed the envelope on the bleeding edge of technology with the rollout of a new Excalibur fighter. Its advances range from superior ground fighting capabilities to enhanced weaponry and acceleration design. The Excalibur was designed specifically to outfly and outfight the Kirathi Bloodfang. What I tell you about trust in a cat. Hey, too bad Cobra had to die to get her point across. <laughs> temper, temper. You can't afford to lose any more wingmen. You know, for once you're right. I am. We're just gonna have to settle it out there. The next time you're on my wing, I might just rotate my turret. And hey, accidents happen. Ooh, I'm shaking. You know, I got a turret too, pal. We'll see. Returning to my home world. But my admiration for you compels me to provide an explanation for my actions. You must understand that the Hobbs you knew was a construct, the result of an identity overlay experiment initiated long ago by Prince Frakat. Lord Ralga Nahalas, you have never truly met. I myself never met him until I heard the Prince utter your Kirathi title, the Heart. Of the tiger. This was the trigger that awakened my true personality hidden for so many years. Once awakened by the words of my prince, I had no choice but to perform his bidding. Kirathi do not surrender, nor do we betray. And yet, in being true to my kind, I have betrayed you. I have watched you, Colonel, and know you are an honorable warrior. If we meet again, 
people have no choice but to perform our duties with honor. Well, this is it, Colonel. Time to extract us a scientist. Your responsibility will be to provide air cover for the Marines, who will descend down onto the planet and get Dr. Severin out. I know you hear this all the time, because I used to hear it all the time, too. But this may be the most important mission that you'll ever fly. I wish I had the reflexes I had ten years ago, laddie. I'd be flying in your wing. It's going to take all the self-control I have not to strap myself back into the cockpit. Because if we fail here, God help humanity. No see, Doc. Take it easy, boys. I've done what I came to do. Need clearance, TCS Victory. landed himself in the brig. You're cleared. Oh, General Tagger wants to speak to you. Well done, Lenny. You've done us all proud. I wish I could stick around and celebrate when you land, but now that we've got Severin and I've got a lot of work to do, you'll hear from me again. Way to go, sir. I'll stand. <laughs>
I cannot understand this Terran foray into the Elcor system. The attempt to free but a few prisoners. If you please, your majesty, I may be able to shed some light. Yes, young one. The apes took but one prisoner. His skills are technical, scientific in nature. And these skills are applied to... That we did not fully explore. His range of knowledge was vast. We are winning the war, your majesty. And daily we move closer to invasion of the Terran home world. A vast amount is being assembled. Never before has there been such a mighty force. You're all letting me forgotten. It is when the foe is near vanquishing that he is most dangerous, my prince. As always, your majesty speaks truly and wisely. <laughs> so we risk everything to get this one egghead they say might win the war? Although I'll believe that when I see it. And Vagabond Dex a guy? <laughs> I bet old Vagabond doesn't get out of the brig till the Karathi let him out. We'll just see about that. I'm gonna have a talk with the captain. In other news from the front, we at TNC have confirmation of a strategic withdrawal from outlying Confederation sectors. Confed sources suggest this is part of a larger operation to give up sectors of minor importance in the hopes that the Kilrathi will spread themselves too thinly across the galaxy. But independent sources suggest there is little strategy behind the withdrawals, only an improvised response to the advance of the enemy. This is Barbara Miles with a TNC Infoburst. Colonel, something on your mind? Captain, the brig is no place for a pilot of vagabond skills. Oh, I agree. But the brig is a place for someone as undisciplined as he. <sighs> Sir, everyone's entitled to a mistake. Mistake? He could have killed the man. Vagabond is out of control. Right now, he's worthless in a cockpit. You'll take personal responsibility for him. He flies under me. That goes without saying. Very well. Thank you, sir. Finally, I get to show what I can do. Oh, I don't know, Chief. I've been pretty impressed from the get-go. <laughs> Yeah, well, you haven't seen everything. Not by a long shot. You know, maybe we should get together and I'll show you the rest. You know, sooner or later, you and I have to let go of these ghosts. See if the parts fit anywhere else. And you think our parts might mesh? You never know until you take a test run. Bruno, pull up a chair. A guy who's been staring at four gray walls for a while. Pretty chipper. Well, that's it, isn't it? I'm not playing solitaire anymore. Got you to thank for that. Well, we all lose it once in a while. Yeah. Well, if I had to do it again, I'd still pop the son of a bitch. <laughs> huh. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. Your old friend Paladin's been keeping busy. He sent us a little gift prototype of Timla bomb. We're jumping into the Hyperion system where Intel's located an uninhabited and tectonically unstable world. A perfect test site for the weapon. An Excalibur has been modified for this special payload and Colonel, you've been selected to deliver it by dropping to the surface of the planet and hitting the bullseye. Your timing, your aim, have to be perfect. Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed.
The war has united the far-flung outposts of our race in a common cause. Red tape has been cut, and emergency mentality dominates. But critics wonder how society will shape itself after a successful conclusion to the war. Will there be a price to pay for the centralization and militarization of the far-flung societies that comprise the Confederation? Going somewhere? No. <laughs> Cleaning this out helps me clear my head sometimes. I'm doing a little of that myself. Letting go of, I don't know, certain memories. Hmm. That's good to hear. I, I haven't wanted to pursue it while you were still hoping to find Angel. And I'm probably way out of line here. Um, but... But... It seems like maybe there's something between you and me. Perhaps it's that way with all the female crew members on board. <laughs> well, believe it or not, Flint, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every woman on board. Well, sir, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every man on board. But you do make exceptions? I have. Yeah. Mm. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. HQ sent us here to Freya because they've located a jump point that leads straight to Kilrock. A nice little back door we can use later when Dr. Severn completes his device. One slight problem, however, is it's shielded. The shield generator is based on Freya, too. Here's where we see how good these Excaliburs are in taking the fight to the ground. Colonel, I want you to lead the ground assault. Destroy that generator. Good luck, Colonel. do now is new kill row <laughs> yeah fat chance i think i'm beginning to miss the old arrogant flash at least he talked a good game <sighs> i gotta tell you i'm surprised i survived all these missions <laughs> probably surprised you too right yeah you hung tough i gotta hand you that Surprised you even noticed me. So where's that leave us? I can't take the risk of getting involved with someone who might be on my wing. There's too much at stake.
I've been to just about every corner of every galaxy. And it's been a hell of a ride. What's this? Weepy nostalgia from the hardened card chart? <laughs> well, it's just that I've been thinking. Here on the Victory, for the first time, I feel like I put down some roots. You've been a good influence on the rest of us. You don't take yourself too seriously, and you're a damn good pilot. Well, thank you, sir. You're not so bad yourself. How about a quick hand of cards? <laughs> Colonel, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say... At first, I wasn't so sure about your assignment to the victory, but I'm glad you came on board. It's been an honor and a privilege serving with you. That goes both ways, Captain. The Templar bomb still seems like a long shot, but from what I've seen, you're the one man who can do what has to be done. I just hope I can justify that faith, sir. Well, you will. Hmm? So? Well, gentlemen, our goal is simple. Termination of the Karathi homeworld via the T-bomb. Now, since we can't jump the entire fleet into Kiroth, we've equipped your Excalibur with Confit's first attempt at truly impenetrable cloaking technology. The Sral device seems effective at jamming their tracking monitors, but it causes a severe drain on your ship systems. It'll be useless after you deliver the payload. You'll need all your power just to get the hell out of there. Now, the first step is to assemble a quick strike team up to four wingmen penetrate the Kirath system where you'll stage at a clandestine refueling depot set up by covert ops. Due to its mass sensitive guidance suite and the risk of flying with it, the T-bomb has already been secreted into the system. I want you loaded here at your second stop. You'll have just one target. Successful insertion will require the ultimate in navigational skills. As we've been told, Confed holds that destruction of the Kirath homeworld will badly cripple their war effort. And our timing may be just right. Since Intel believes much of the enemy fleet is being outfitted in the shipyards surrounding their homeworld. Colonel, if all goes well, you will not return to the victory until you've succeeded with the entire operation. This is my only briefing then, sir? Oh, comrade of yours will be taking over. Hello again, Letty. I know Captain Eisner's given you a thorough briefing, but you'll find a few more messages from yours truly on the other side of the jump point. I may not be flying in your wing like times past, but I'm still with you. You can count on that. I know none of us wants to live on the Karathi rule, so... All I ask is that you fight like you've never fought before. For duty. For honor. For all mankind. Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismissed, and good luck. If you're watching this, laddie, we're in good shape. Let's not waste any time. My boys have set up an undercover depot closer to the Kilra homeworld. Keep your fingers crossed the Kilrathi haven't found it, because there you will arm and load the T-bomb for the final run. 
I'll be talking to you again, I have no doubt. Told you you'd be seeing this old face again. By now the T-bomb loadout is complete. You're gonna have to lay it in there sweet and easy. As this tape plays, the coordinates are being downloaded to you. It's in your hands now, son. Send them all to hell.